Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today we are doing something different. Yep, we are doing a review. This is the first from us, so a sub would be massively appreciated. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. So I've been using this mouse for almost a year now and without any doubt I'll go on to say that this is the best bang for the buck mouse out there. Like seriously, the design and ergonomics feel premium given its price point. Now talking about features, it has got a 4800 dpi sensor to suffice all your gaming needs. I personally use 2000 dpi to play CSGO competitive but there is quite a number of options to choose from. Speaking of options, you also get a software to customize the mouse to your liking. We'll get to the details later. Now, the mouse provides 7 programmable buttons which can be remapped to suit your style. This feature is found in more expensive mouses and getting this here is an added bonus. The clicking experience is pretty good too. The buttons are very responsive and soft to touch. Although one thing I will point out is the side buttons have got a bit of wobble and are on the mushy side when clicked. The back button has sometimes got almost a dead zone if pressed rapidly. Other than that, the clicking experience is quite good. The buttons on the back of the scroll wheel is used to switch DPI but that also can be programmed for doing some other task. And here's how the mouse sounds. The mouse comes with a braided cable which helps in preventing the cable from being tangled. And the length, well it's quite long. <laughs> now jokes aside, I did notice some wear in the cable. But as I mentioned, it's been a year so this is to be expected. But overall if you ask me, it is a well built mouse. Now let's come to the main part, the lighting. Red Gear specifies on the website that it has got 16.8 million RGB colors, which to be honest is a complete lie. The software allows you to set colors but the problem comes when you select a dark tone. The lighting system fails in doing so but the overall experience that you get at the end is pretty satisfying. It also has different modes for lighting which only add to the experience. The software provided is actually pretty complex and more than sufficient for your gaming needs. You can even set a specific color for a DPI setting which, to be honest, helps a lot. The software has got 6 GPI levels which again can be individually customized by the user. The good thing is that you can either save or export your config for future purposes or use it for transferring your data to another computer while also maintaining different configurations for different games. To be honest, this is actually a very handy feature which only a few mouse have given this price point. The final feature is the macro options which focuses on fine tuning your existing mouse settings. These settings are quite complex and if you want that extra customization, you have that option as well. The mouse doesn't have any specific downsides but one worth mentioning is that it's not light. 
The mouse is quite heavy and if you are searching for a lightweight mouse then this is not for you. I personally got adjusted to it very quickly so I had no problems. The last downside would be it attracts quite a lot of dust and that too very fast. So keep in mind you would have to clean the mouse at least once a week. If you guys ask me, well should I buy it or not? Well the simple answer is yes please. But if you are planning to buy this mouse, I would suggest you get it on some season sale. It just adds to the tree. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.